Hi everyone, it's Alina from Examate Mastery here, and today I want to talk about what happens in Xactimate when you are downloading a price list and then you click out to another window, like you want to check your email, or maybe you have another program in the background that you want to look at, and you come back to Xactimate and all you hear is this ding, and it doesn't let you back into the estimate, it doesn't let you finish what you started, it's it's like the price list isn't there at all either. And it's because this little window is hanging out in the background of Xactimate, and it can be very frustrating if you don't know that. So today, me and Emmy, Kitty just jumped up here, we're going to talk about how to get inside of that window and go ahead and click done, and then that will alleviate uh, the frustration of having that window open in the background, and you can work with Xactimate like usual again. So let's go take a look. Let's take a look at this glitch or error, or it just might be the way the program's designed, I'm not really sure, but I went and downloaded a price list here inside of an estimate. And so as you can see, I'd like to go ahead and choose a price list. And here's that annoying ding in the background, as you can hear. All I did was go to look for the price list, saw that it was going to take a while to download an exact analysis, so I went to go check my Facebook. Come back, and now it's just sitting here, and there's just this ding. Go out to the main part of the program, everything looks normal, and come back in here, and now this shows up. So this is what was hanging it up, was this price list downloaded, it wants me to OK. So I need to OK out of there, but if I go again, watch this, if I go to Facebook, and I come back to my estimate, that window is not there anymore. So this has been an issue for me. I've gotten really frustrated before. I've actually just restarted my computer because I was so frustrated. However, if you do that and you're in the middle of an estimate, if you're gonna lose all of your work, if you added photos, they may not still be attached, it can be really frustrating. So let me show you how to get around this. Now, of course, normally if I would have been patient and waited for the program to do its thing, this is what I would have gotten. Price list downloaded and it tells me that I've got the Salt Lake price list for December. You can left click OK, and then I can choose whatever price list here and attach that to the estimate. So that is all well and good, and that's the way it normally works. However, like I said, if I'm inside of an estimate and I go to the smart list, let me backtrack here for anybody who might be a beginner. You can download price lists here in an estimate. You don't have to be out here in the price list tab of the main part of the program. So you can do it here as well, but it's a lot easier on the fly to download the price list within the estimate. So I'm in claim info is the main tab. Sub tab is parameters. I'm going to go to the price list here and I'm going to go down to smart list. So just drop down the list and we can go to smart list if you don't have the most current or maybe you need an older price list just to do a comparison. We can go to the smart list here. It's going to pull up everything for this area. If you want price lists outside of the area, be sure to click over the top right here and choose all price lists because right now all I can see is the Minnesota, the Minneapolis, Minnesota price list. So if I was looking for something different, be sure to know that you can go to all price lists in the top right corner. This will also help you when you download your new price list to get uh, to, to all price lists if needed. If you're changing from a zip code or uh, what have you, all price lists showing will help you. So now that we've got that set up, we can go down to request a price list. And I can go here and choose any old price list zip code. So uh, the zip code of the loss, wherever that happened, that's the zip code I want to use here. So we're going to put that in. I'm going to click download. And you'll see exact analysis connection comes up. I get bored. I go outside to another window. And bam, we're lost again. It won't let me out. It's just going to keep dinging and won't let me out of here. I could try to force quit the program too. That sometimes has worked, uh, but usually a restart is what takes for me to get, or used to take for me to get out of this pickle. The fix that I found that works best for this is to close all of your windows that you have open on your taskbar. I just go ahead and minimize or close all those windows. Minimize usually works, but if it's not working for you, try to close the windows in the background. I'll also pull up the main Xactimate part of the program and go ahead and minimize it as well. And that will bring up the little window here that I need to OK. That's the only thing that I've found to work is just downsizing or minimizing the windows that are open or closing the window. Some people have a million tabs open, a million different things going in the background, and that's covering this window somehow. I still haven't quite 
understood why it hides like that, but I do know the remedy, and that is to close or minimize your windows. And then now we have this back up. I can left click OK, choose that price list that I downloaded. And um, again, be sure you can't see the price list that you downloaded outside the area unless you drop down all price lists. That's a side note there. And uh, then I can go search here for, yep, Roswell, New Mexico is the one that I just searched for. Left click OK. And now we're good to go. I can add my tax jurisdiction and life is good. No more frustration of having that window, small window in the background holding me up. My name is Lena Wilson with XM8 Mastery. If you like this topic, please like this video so I know to create more like this. Also subscribe to this channel. It helps support us here at XM8 Mastery and it also puts us on your news feed so you can see our weekly updated videos. If you're interested in what XM8 Mastery is and how we train contractors how to use Xactimate, visit our website at www.xm8mastery.com. Hope you guys have a really great week and I'll see you next Tuesday.